Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be discussing and blasting this grind classic compilation. And that happens to be Terrorizer, Before the Downfall, Complete Demos, Live, and Unreleased Tracks from 1987 to 1989. Fuck yes! Thank you, Aaron, for making this part of a trade. And holy fuck. This is an unreleased track from World Downfall, 1989. Holy shit. This track's called Collapse, and if you've never heard Terrorizer, I just have one thing I have to say. Please start with World Downfall and then work your way back to the demos and then you can even check out their comeback record. But the demos are a lot more crusty and punk where the full length is a total grindcore assault. One of the most important grind records of the 80s and I'm holding that up against Napalm Death's Peel Sessions on the A side of things when they still had Lee Doran and Bill Steer, I think. Because the first is 1987, but then the gem of Grindcore, in my opinion, is the 1988 Peel session. I'm just showing this off because it's a badass, heavy duty slab of something that probably, you know, would never happen in the year 2020. And I'm surprised it happened in the 80s. For those of you who don't know who John Peel is, John Peel is one of the reasons I'm making this video right now. John Peel took extreme music from the UK, especially from the Earache catalog, and put them on fucking national radio. Like, a lot of bands have Peel sessions that aren't metal bands, but like, the fact that John Peel, like, saw something in a young Napalm Death, in a young Carcass, in a young God Flesh, Extreme Noise Terror, etc. Like, John Peel is the reason why so many bands are where they are. Like, some bands might have never made it past a certain level without John Peel and the BBC. So, the whole entire eerie grind madness at the BBC Peel Sessions, to me, are 100% essential listens, regardless of which band you decide to pick from those Peel Sessions. But, Terrorizer, American-based madness. Now, you had Jesse, who went on to be in Napalm Death, on guitars, you have fucking Morbid Angels, David Vincent, and you have Morbid Angels, Peter, on fucking drums, like, and the vocalist from Nausea. Holy shit! Like, it's a super group. Before, it was technically a super group. Because I don't even know if Alters had came out yet with Dave Vincent on it by the time World Downfall came out. I don't remember what came out first, so don't kill me. But what you get out of this set right here is the unreleased track from World Downfall, the unreleased demo from 1987, the split demo with Nausea from 1988, Live at the Silver Lake Motel, Los Angeles, 1987. The Nightmares demo from 1987. And it says here that 
there's a bonus CDs with rehearsals and live in LA their first show ever but I, I didn't get a CD but it's all gravy because I don't have anything to listen to it on anyway but very crusty cover right phobia but uh yeah terrorizer you know as long as phobia have been around terrorizer to me are like one of those bands that a lot have a lot of others have kind of you know taken a little bit here and there from their image their vibe their lyrics it's crusty it's awesome like so a lot of similarities and when you look at some of the bands they played with it's like holy fuck this is ridiculous and i love how the cover for the uh box is the cover of the one demo because that's one of my favorite demo cover arts ever and this book right here now if you're doing like a reissue box set like this like you need the old flyers you need the old show photos you need a write-up about this release and stuff like this is such a big fucking bonus like letters from the band to fans and stuff and zine interviews all sorts of gnarly stuff in here so if you're a fan of Terrorizer this is like you know you're getting more than enough information and it's really fucking cool it's a good read and I just like looking at extreme music's past it's so fucking cool and uh like, here's an interview with Oscar Garcia and Eric Castro. Fucking just so sick. There's so much cool stuff in here. But there's that demo cover I was talking about. You might have seen it on some of your favorite band's t-shirts. Because I know a lot of bands love Terrorizer. And I've seen that t-shirt on plenty of people playing live and this is a double LP set like the demo stuff it's a lot more punk than the full length but it's still very very enjoyable but check out the D side here here's side D and then side C but this is how you know this right here is a release full of love look at that that etching fucking rules. Just like that riff back there. But seriously, Before the Downfall is a great taste of Terrorizer. Literally before World Downfall decimated the extreme music community with one of the gnarliest grindcore assaults ever. Maybe it's up there, seriously. Like, World Downfall is no fucking joke. And this right here is like the go to grindcore collage. You have your medical photos, your war photos, your crusty skeletons, and yeah, it's just so on the fucking money for terrorizer sound and whatnot. And there's just so much on here it's ridiculous and the lineup on the demos also has Alfred Garvey Estrada on bass while the lineup on collapse is the full length but it has a missing bass track which was added in 2013 by Alejandro Cordor so that's fucking awesome. And this is just so sick. You have ripped to shreds, corruption, pulling, afterworld obliteration, 
human prey, strategic warheads, fallout, infestation, nightmares, benediction, mayhem, terror, crematorium, the dead shall rise. This is so fucking good if you're a fan of Terrorizer and you don't already have this. Try and get a copy if you can, because it's a fucking banger. But if you're new to Terrorizer, start with World Downfall, work your way backwards, and then work your way forwards, and check out their comeback record. I forget if Jesse played on it or not. I forget if he passed away before the comeback record or right after. I honestly don't remember, and I apologize. Rest in peace to Jesse. But, yeah. Terrorizer, before the downfall, killer, killer, grindcore comp on FOD Records. And officially distributed by scarystore.com. Really, really cool stuff here. And yeah, the bass track was recorded by Alejandro from Nausea in 2013. Fucking super, super sick release here. And the front cover art by Sean Hogan. Awesome. So, if you like grind, crust, punk, crusty hardcore, this is for you. It's one of those releases where, you know, this isn't for everybody, but at the same time, to me, it's an important piece of extreme music's history. So, if you're a fan of Grindcore, this is essential listening. If you're not a fan of Grind, you know, it is what it is. But, if you like Grindcore and you don't like this record, you're probably a cop. And the same goes for the A-side of the Napalm Death Peel Sessions with Lee Doran on vocals. Now don't get me wrong, the B-side with Barney is great, but it's not as gnarly as the A-side. Like, the second you suffer is so insane sounding, but it's just a great fucking release, like seriously. The Kill, Prison Without Walls, Dead, Deceiver, Lucid Fairy Tale, In Extremis, Blind to the Truth, Negative Approach, Common Enemy, Upstain Direction, Life You Suffer Part 2, Multinational Corporations, Genocide of the Starving Nations. Instinct of Survival, Stigmatized, Parasites, Moral Crusade, Worlds Apart, MAD, Divine Death, CS, Control, Walls, Raging in Hell, Conform or Die, and SOB, while the B-side has Unchallenged Hate, Mentally Murdered, From Enslavement to Obliteration, Suffer the Children, one of my favorite Barney Error Napalm Death songs. Retreat to Nowhere, Scum, Deceiver, and Social Stertility. I butchered that, but yeah. Terrorizer, Before the Downfall, fuck yeah, get into this if you're a fan of Grindcore. Fuck yeah. Again, thank you, Aaron. And thank you, Maniacs at Home, for watching. You fucking rule. Hmm. <gasps>